ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. That is how the Christian life is. It's very simple. Continue in Christ in the same way you received him. It's as simple as that. So if in your Christian practice, you are living your life contrary to the way you received Christ, then you are not walking the Christian life. Let's read our text again. Colossians chapter 2, verses 6 and 7. As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Glory to Jesus. Rooted in Christ. Rooted in how you received him by faith in your heart in his grace in his sacrifice Galatians chapter 3 verse 1 O foolish Galatians who had bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently set forth, crucified among you. Now that was very harsh. Paul calling the Corinthian Christians as senseless. Oh foolish Galatians, who had bewitched you? That ye should not obey the truth. We're going to see here that the truth he's talking about is the truth of the gospel concerning Jesus. But let's say here first that to obey the truth is to live by the truth. To obey God's word is to live by that word. To obey the truth is to live by by the truth. And so, when you know the truth and you are not living by the truth that you know, you are not obeying the truth. So here, yeah, Paul asks the Galatian Christians, who had bewitched you? Who has cast a spell on you? That you should not obey the truth. Let me read that from the Passion Translation. That verse 1 of Galatians 3. It says, What has happened to you, Galatians, to be acting so foolishly? Now they were acting so foolishly. How were they acting so foolishly? By not obeying the truth concerning Christ, by not living their lives by the truth they knew about Christ. What has happened to you Galatians to be acting so foolishly? You must have been under some evil spell. Didn't God open your eyes to see the meaning of Jesus' crucifixion? Wasn't he revealed to you as the one crucified? Now, these are very, very pertinent questions, very important questions that we need to pay attention to here. The Galatians acted foolishly as it were they were under some kind of evil spell not to believe the truth. The truth they already knew. Jesus had been presented to them. God had opened their eyes and they had seen the meaning of the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus. What the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus meant to them. They had already seen it clearly. 
Jesus was revealed among them as one that is crucified. And yet they were deviating from the truth that they knew. Hallelujah. What is that truth? Jesus is God's truth. If you lost something, it will tell you that truth is relative. What that means is that what is true to one man may not be true to another person. They will tell you that the circumstance, environment, or situation the person finds himself can determine what is true and what is not true. Or what is the truth and what is not the truth. So it's relative depending on the circumstance. The Bible doesn't teach that. The Bible teaches that there is one truth. And that Jesus is that truth. In John chapter 14 from verse 5, we read, Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus was telling them that he was going somewhere that they knew the way to the Father. And so Thomas is saying, we don't know where you are going to. How do we know the way? Look at verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Simple. We don't know the way. God said, Jesus said, listen, I am the way. Not I am a way. No. And the people tell you today that there are many ways to God. That Christianity or the Christian faith is just one way to God. No. Christ is the only way. Hallelujah. So he said, I am the way, I am the truth. No one can come to the Father. No one can experience the Father. No one can enjoy the Father but by me. He is the only way, the only truth, and the only life. 